Hello and welcome to MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be using formal written methods when subtracting or taking away. And just like when we are adding using uh, formal written methods, we need to focus on the headings. So we have our units, our tens, our hundreds, and sometimes we need to use thousands. So let's have a look at the first question here. So we have 543 subtract 211. You can also write that as 543 subtract 200, a single 10 and a 1 to make that 11. So let's have a look. So first of all, we have three units, subtract one unit, which is two, same down here. We have 40 minus 10, which is 30. And we have 500 minus 200, which is 300. For a final answer of 332. And next we're on to question two. And again, we need to use the columns, units, tens, hundreds, and be aware of those thousands. So question two is 768, subtract 556. And when we break that question down, we have 700, 60, and an 8, and we are subtracting 500, and 56. So, first thing we can look at, 8 units minus 8 units, which gives us 2 left over. There's 60 minus 50, which gives us a 10. And we place that single 10 underneath the tens column. And then finally in the hundreds column, we have 700 minus 500 to give us 200. For a final answer of 212. And next is question three, which is 328, and we're going to subtract 327. Now, as soon as you see this question, uh, I'm quite sure you've realized they are very, very close together. We can clearly see that we have subtracted one here to get from the eight to the seven. So the difference between these two numbers is just a single unit. So it's just a mental maths question and there's no need for us to write this out in a formal written method. And just like with addition, it's really worth keeping the close eye out for questions like this, um, where you have all those strategies in your head to work out the difference or the total in the case of addition. So make sure you just keep a close eye because we don't always need uh, the full written method. And finally, we're on to question four. So again, we have our units, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands. And for this question, we are going to need the thousands column for the first time. So it's 6,457, and I'm subtracting 3,322. And again, I can rewrite that as 6,457. And I am subtracting 3,322. Okay, so first of all, the units. So we have seven units minus two units. So that gives us five left over. Then onto the tens column, so 50 subtract 20, or five tens minus 
two tens gives us three tens, which is 30. Then onto the hundreds column. So we have four hundreds minus three hundreds. So four hundred minus three hundred gives us one hundred. A single hundred there. And finally into the thousands column. Six thousand minus three thousand gives us three thousand. For a final answer of three thousand one hundred and thirty-five. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.